Thank you so much for accepting our invitation. I am delighted to have you all in the first in the first first slide this year. We might be all teachers, have been teachers, or plan to be teachers someday. It is our 31th slide committee team who decided to be the topic of this lead teachers and the balance. Today we will have three educators who will share with us their research work and in the area of teacher development. Dr. Vizna Dimitriska, Rinia Hogg, and Yumaida Himayatullah. But let me first thank our wonderful SLED team. Simon, Amani, Bington, Weijong, Natalia, Aslahan, and Ying, who accepted the challenge and made SLED happen. It has been a very difficult task, but they did it. Mm -hmm. Heartfelt thanks must go to Dr. Nikos, the advisor of SLED, and who actually put SLED together, and has been very supportive in all obstacles that we have faced. Would you please welcome Dr. Nikos? Actually, I would like to welcome all of you. Um, it's you who makes SLED happen, and this is a student-led endeavor, and so right from the beginning, I'm just here as a supporter. So if you need anything and you're not getting it from some source, um, I will hopefully be able to help you with that. Uh, this is our 31st SLED. We started SLED probably, and I'm not absolutely sure, uh, I'll give you a little historical view. Um, many years ago, up on the second floor in the atrium, I was having a conversation with a Thai doctoral student, Sinead Sun, and he sort of thought this would be a great idea to have something that the students start up. You know, because of, after all, as doctoral students, many of you already have certain kinds of skills, and also are doing some really important research while you're here at the university. And all of that is not very well showcased. We have doctoral de defenses, but often they're just quiet things that tend to happen. You go if you have a friend, but otherwise, you know, you're busy getting your work done. And so this really opens it up more in a friendly atmosphere. It's a space for all of you to try to think about different research that you're working on. It doesn't have to be a completed project, but at least something where you've gathered data, you've analyzed it a bit, and you want to put it out there for all of us to respond to in some way. I'd also like to welcome everyone who's online or whatever we're calling it, especially if you're EDD students who are doing this as a remote um, login, so to speak. Um, but back to the origins of SLED, so about 17 years ago we had a conversation and all great things start with very small steps. And often you might even say a small idea because you always feel your idea is too small, but it isn't. And lots of good things can come of it if you gather good people around you and make it happen. So I'd like to encourage that. I'd also like to encourage your responses to each of the speakers because they really have put together something that I think will speak to all of you. Uh, the topic, and it came together very nicely, is on teacher education. And um, also I'd like to remind all of you that we have some, uh, there's an evaluation form. I hope all of you got one. And for you to please fill it out, that's your exit ticket. Those of you who are in education and so on know about exit tickets. So I'd just like to ask you to do that, please. And also, if there's any, um, anything that you would like to suggest for further select uh, symposia, we're very open to that. And you too can join. The fact that you're clear already makes you very well qualified, A, to present yourself, and B, to be part of the select team. Okay? So I'd like to uh, welcome the further, uh, we always have a, well not always, we often have a faculty slot, so uh, the committee invites a faculty member, and our latest faculty member is Vesna Dimitrieska, whom uh, Ebrahim will uh, introduce, and um, after her come two other very qualified speakers themselves, also with 
very strong ties to language education. And I know some of you also have other commitments that you need to leave and so on. That's okay, just do it quietly, but also take a little food with you and hopefully some sustenance with you. Thank you.